yeah hello everyone uh, i hope all are doing well uh, welcome to the rust planet uh, uh, youtube talk technical talk so today we are discussing about uh, ring buffer implementation in rust uh, i already put in, kept on video about the ring buffer implementation in rust uh, in the previous video like uh, a ring buffer concept i explained about that so this is the next part of the the same concept series of videos so here i am explaining about growable alloc ring buffer this is the type of it's a one type of uh, ring buffer concept in rust so let's get started from here um we'll explain um, about i'm introduce myself first so I'm Udayak Mahadikal, an embedded system engineer with uh, four years of industry experience in embedded domain. Uh, <clears throat> let's get uh, get into the topic now. Agenda, whatever we are looking today, like uh, in ring buffer concept drawable array. Agenda is like introduction about that. So then we'll we'll see an introduction about uh, growable alloc ring buffer. What are the advantages? We'll see. And then how growable ring buffer is works actually in rust so then some little bit normal example is there so i will go through that example uh, one by line by line implementation we'll see and then lastly demonstrate about that demo i, I will, will show you the demo part for that so next slide <coughs> see yeah. mm. Introduction about growable alloc ring buffer. So the growable ring ring buffer alloc ring buffer. Sorry, the growable ring buffer is a, a custom data structure designed to combine the advantages of a ring buffer with the dynamic resizing capabilities in the Rust programming language. This buffer provides a cir circular array-like uh, structure that allows for efficient insertion and removal of the elements. Unlike a traditional ring buffer with a fixed capacity, the growable alloc ring buffer can dynamically resize itself uh, and allocating more memory uh, when needed and uh, releasing memory when it is size decreases. So like that, this will work. So when it comes to like, if you are knowing about the uh, advantages of the ring buffer, so here as mentioned like uh, it's a dynamic resizing sizing is there can dynamically adjust itself its size and low overhead um, retains the efficient of a ring buffer um, here ring buffer structure the core structure resemble uh, a ring buffer where elements are added and removed in a circle manner so there it maintains read and write uh, indices to uh, efficiently manage element access we can access uh, easily from there uh, when it comes to dynamic resizing the buffer can dynamically adjust its its capacity based on the number of elements it holds how many elements we can it can it can holds when uh, when, when the buffer is full it automatically resizes the accommodate additional elements or additional arrays whatever we are given those things it, it will append those things when it comes to we are saying low overhead or memory efficient so in this in this point the buffer optimized memory usage by growing and shrinking its capacity as needed so this dynamic allocation ensure that the buffer memory footprints closely aligns with this its current size whatever we are giving in the initial current size based on that it will allocate the memories um, and then if if any uh, generic type of the parameters like uh, the buffer is designed to be a, a generic allowing it to store elements and data type of t generic type of t this flexibility enables use of the buffer with various types such as integer strings custom structs those are all things we can yeah, include those things 
and also it's uh, in in this growable array uh, uh, we are having push and pop operations also the buffer provides methods adding elements into uh, into the array it's called push and removing from there or eliminating from there elements pop in a way that maintains the circular buffer behavior then also like usage in resource constraint environments about this the growable ring buffer alloc ring buffer can be uh, <clears throat> particularly uh, useful in scenarios where memory resources are limited and variable uh, this data structure is a uh, practical choice when there is a need for a circular buffer that can adapt its capacity dynamically providing a balance between memory efficient and performance uh, and also it is uh, especially valuable in applications with uh, varying varying workloads or in a resource uh, constraint environments we are optimizing the memory usage in uh, circular cir uh, crucials um then let's go to the next slide like here how it works as usual like uh, in the context of uh, data structure shrinking as said like the point is like uh, also i am seeing seeing this point here shrinking can also release memory when the buffer size is decreased so here typically refers to reducing the size of capacity of the data structure such as an array vector or buffer in the specific context of the growable uh, alloc ring buffer example here uh, i am providing that shrinking buffer in the shrinking buffer method uh, it will the capacity of the underlying vec is reduced the shrink method is used to shrink the capacity of the half of its current size uh, even i will show in a code also that one so this is like uh, memory allocation is very like when you initially allocate the memory for the dynamic uh, data structure so may allocates more space than current number of elements okay this extra space is useful you know, useful for accommodating the future elements without uh, frequent reallocations however uh, if the number of elements decreases significantly it might be efficient efficient to uh, release some some of the alloc allocated memory also uh, and also it will efficiently uh, utilize the memory like shrinking a buffer of array can be beneficial for uh, memory efficiency it ensure that memory allocates in a more closely aligned with the actual number of elements reducing um, wasted like uh, sorry uh, Vast space, potent, potentially improving uh, catch lo locality, those kind of things will help. Like, so this is uh, how it works. Like growable ring buffer, uh, ring buffer. Mm, let's get to. I will show you a implementation how the how we are building that one. Yeah. Um, Let's I will explain about the growable alloc ring buffer, how it's how it works and how uh, how I implemented these things. So I created two files, main file and one is for growable and uh, implementation of that uh, functions. So here uh, from the initial points, like I am creating uh, start by def defining a generic uh, type of stru structure, so called uh, growable uh, <coughs> alloc ring buffer with a type of parameter for generic type t it has three fields one is for buffer read, read index and write index buffer is for um, vector like uh, representing the dynamic array and uh, read index and write index are indices used use for uh, reading and writing the elements from the buffer here we see a uh, vector definition like a, a contagious, contagious uh, growable array type so when it comes to implementation of the growable array here the block of our method associated with the growable uh, alloc ring buffer 
struct begins here so it's a generic type it, it will return generic type t like uh, default value uh, uh, trait types default value it's a uh, resulting <coughs> here like the new method uh, creates this new method um, creates uh, and uh, returns a new instance of growable allow green buffer uh, it takes the initial capacity uh, as a parameter and uh, initialize the buffer with the capacity uh, that setting read index and write index to uh, zero initially uh, and also we have a push function uh, function here which is a new element into a buffer here the method adds a new element to the buffer um, if the buffer is full it's called the private uh, resize buffer method to increase the capacity then it uh, pushes the elements into the buffer and uh, increases uh, uh, write index incrementing of the uh, write index here uh, and also we have pop for reading the reading those elements uh, here this method retrieves the uh, removes an element from the buffer if there are elements left in the buffer it uses uh, this std it uses those uh, um, mem like a basic function of the uh, dealing with memory this constant functions acquiring the size and alignment of the types so here to swap out the elements at uh, self read index with the default value and uh, increments read index one by one mm, if the buffer is less than uh, half half full not full um, it's called the private uh, shrink buffer method to reduce the capacity its capacity uh, the method returns uh, option t generic type t uh, where some uh, content with the popped uh, elements or none if there any if the buffer is empty directly mm. then uh, resize buffer and uh, uh, shrink buffer two functions are there here like uh, buffer method doubles the capacity of the buffer using using that if uh, if it is having growable like it will doubles the all elements like increase the capacity of the buffer here the same side uh, shrinking is like uh, it will uh, decreases the reduce the capacity of the buffer half of its current capacity using uh, shrink to method this one we are using uh, here we can say like uh, shrink shrinks the capacity of the vector with the lower bound the capacity will remain least large as both the length and supplied value if the current capacity is less than lower limit and no no it will half of the uh, capacity it will do like uh, given uh, after that it will give new capacity about that mm, as i mentioned uh, previously like a uh, shrink method uh, refers to reducing the size of the capacity that uh, data structures such as an array or vector buffer whatever things so comes to main so here i am directly calling uh, create a growable uh, allocating buffer with the initial value of capacity of 5 so i am mentioning this one so i will create a new method like it will create a fixed uh, sorry uh, whatever initial value we are putting directly pushing the elements into the buffer like whatever the buffer i mentioned growable array so i am pushing elements one by one one two three four five six so then uh, and then popping up from there like i am using a while loop here directly if it if any uh, empty buffer it will give none so if it is more than sizable like it will call a resize resize a buffer function the there it will double the whole capacity uh, or else is there any empty or else uh, is less than a capacity less than capacity values so it will decrease half of the uh, buffer size using a shrink buffer method uh, sorry a function so we'll run it once terminal cargo 
I'll clear first. Clean I'll do. So then Cork build. So see here it will give one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, six. So if it is more than that, so it will call a resize. Then if it is less than that, so it will call string. So like that it will work. So I hope this uh, video makes sense. Mm, I think yeah, till now you know about the growable allow ring buffer about uh, how Rust implementation about Rust implementation for that. So let's I will come up with a, a new video on uh, next uh, next video uh, which is like type of um, constant generic and uh, ring buffer in next videos. We'll see in detail.